In this video, we will go over aggregations for a BERT table. Aggregations can be added a couple ways. You could add an aggregation to your table in the table binding. But for this example, we're going to add aggregations directly to the table. So for this first column here, special offer ID, we're simply going to count the rows for the special offer ID. And we know from our results set that we have 16 rows. So we're going to add in an aggregation here and you insert in the aggregation. This column binding name is what will be added to your data binding for your table. So you can write row count table. We'll just add that name here. And for this calculation, we're going to do integer. And we are just counting the IDs for the table. And let's format that. Let's make the background black and Font white and bold, and let's run. And so, this is the bottom of your table. So, the last row we have 16 for our count. Now, also for aggregation. You can aggregate on the groups. So here we had the first group. And let's go back into our group list. Our first group is year. And so we're going to add an aggregation into the group list. So insert aggregation. And we're going to put year count again integer and count expression and this time BERT automatically locates where you are within your table so it's defaulted to year you could change that to the other group but for now, we're just going to keep it as the same group. Click OK. And let's format this and make this a little bit darker gray to match our top and bold. And let's run that. And so now we see. For, for year of 2014, we have one ID. We come down here to 2013. We have six IDs counting all of May and July. For 2012, we have three counting May and April. And let's do one for the next group. Insert aggregation. And we'll put month count. Integer. And we're counting ID. Again, it's defaulted to the group that you inserted into. And this format and make this 
a lighter blue. And we'll run this. And now you can see we have some subgroups here. July, we have one. May, we have five. And then the total for the year. So that's grouping in BERT. Also, we have a column discount percentage. So let's add a, a group for this one. So let's do a year aggregation and we're going to do a different aggregation and we're going to just do average in year so for that we're going to choose the discount percentage and average and i think that should stay afloat but let's try to change it to decimal see what it says says recommend that you stay with float so we'll stay with float so now we're calculating the average discount percentage for the year and let's just add a label And we can run that. And you can see we're getting an average for the discount. So that's aggregations in BERT, and again. These don't have to be in any specific location. I can add another header column and move this count to the top. And I can even move my year to the bottom but that wouldn't it wouldn't calculate correctly so the group aggregations will make some more sense staying within your group but for table calculations you can move them pretty much wherever you want and I could I could leave that at the top here and I can also add that in here So the aggregations will show up all over. And that is the basics of performing aggregation with a bird table.